Hey y'all, it's Alyssa Darby Daisy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we're a mishmash channel. Uh, mostly we do budgeting though, and today we are doing a cash stuffing. I have my technology envelope on top. This is the only um, envelope that I have that's not just regular paper envelope. And unfortunately, we're not going to be stuffing anything in here today unless I decide to take some extra anyway, because this is what I'm stuffing with the money that I pull out for the hydrator pay, um, which is my hands and bands. And I hit my goal every single day this week. So I am not going to get a penalty, but I still might pull some out of personal anyway, uh, because we are using this to save up for a tablet for my two kids. So um, I have already started this video a couple of times and I keep starting over. And so we're just going to roll with it. I'm just going to go and whatever happens, happens. And whatever doesn't, doesn't. And that's just the video we're going to get today because I don't know what's up. But today we are stuffing June week five, which is June 26th through July 2nd. Um, I will try to remember to link the budget with me in the cards. I keep forgetting that um, for all my other cash stuffings this month, but I did do a budget with me for June. I will be doing another one for July. Um, and definitely our July budget is going to look different. Our June budget already looks a little different than our May one did, and we're going to be, I think, making some big changes to July, but my husband and I need to sit down and talk about it. Um, oh, I forgot in my little intro thing. Um, I am a married mom of two young kids and we are budgeting our way to paying off just under $10,000 worth of debt, financial freedom, and buying our first house. So if that is a journey that you think you would like to follow, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can also hit the little bell and that way you'll be notified anytime that I upload. Right now I'm uploading on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I am still thinking deeply and I'm pretty sure I've talked myself into starting to do three days a week. I'm not 100% sure what three days those will be, but if I start doing that, I will let you know. We are going to go ahead and just jump right in. I, I'm not going to count the money because I've already counted it multiple times because like I said, this is my, I don't know, third or fourth time recording this. Might even be fifth. I've lost count. Um, so, but this is all correct. We're just going to go for it. And if you really like watching money being counted, I am going to do a consolidation video because all of my sinking funds need to be consolidated. So that will be my next video that comes out on Saturday, which would be what? June 30th, July 1st, no, July 2nd. Oh my gosh. So it'll come out on the, the, the day that this budget ends. Well, that video will come out. <sighs> yep. This is, this is what I'm working with today. I don't know. I even took a nap. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, so anyway, we're just going to go ahead and get into it. And if you want to have some more explanations about all of this stuff, go ahead and watch the budget with me because I'm going to try really hard not to talk too deeply about each envelope because I just want to go to bed y'all. I'm so tired. All right. Debt payment is going to get 80. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80 going in debt payment. And this is, we're going to be paying our first two debts this week, I think. Um, we have to check and make sure that we're doing everything exactly the right way because we want to make sure everything goes smoothly. Um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84. So there's $400 in here that will absolutely cover the first two debts that we need to pay off. And I think there will actually be a little bit extra that we can put towards, um, one of the student loans that my husband has. We will see about that. We definitely need to call and make sure I read something about needing to call and see if they will do a um, loan re rehabilitation. So we're gonna call and check into that. All right, Allstate, which is our car insurance, is gonna get 40. So 20, 40, 60, 80. And we do pay that um, per six months now instead of paying it monthly. So we are saving up to pay it way later. Um, Verizon is going to get 50. We did have to pull a little bit from savings to pay last month's bill because I did mess up a little bit, but um, you will see reflected in our July budget with me that I have worked that out on my spreadsheet and I fixed it. So next month we will be stuffing a little bit extra at first and then we should get back down to where we don't have to stuff too much. All right, now we're moving on to our cash envelopes. Um, groceries, I did last week have to buy some stuff for other people. So we pulled in like almost $150 from, uh, our housemates and I did 
note that down so when I do my budget close out that'll be noted down the extra money coming in um, but we are stuffing 50 this week so 50 65 um, and that is mostly just for non-food items because we do currently qualify for EBT um, that may change in the future I mean hopefully that's obviously the goal uh, we will see um, gas is getting 30 and this we are about to hopefully fill up like both cars actually because one is totally empty well not totally but mostly empty the other one's like half empty 20 40 60 81 110 115 16 17 18 19 119 oh i forgot to be writing down my totals here <laughs> you know what i'm not gonna worry about it i'm not writing down the totals i'll just write them down later um Y'all can just trust that I'm doing it right. All right, so fast food is getting 20, and we actually did not buy any fast food last week. So now we've got 40. Um, we might use that. There's a new um, burrito place we wanna try, so we might take the kids there. I actually haven't even talked to my husband about that yet, but I thought that might be a fun idea, and 40 should cover that. Um, Dylan is getting 10. He only has $2 left, so 10, 11, 12. Um, Let's see. And he definitely was talking about um, wanting his personal envelope to roll over in future months. So that's one of the things we're going to be talking about when he and I sit down to talk about our July budget. Um, oh, because I forgot to say our cash envelopes, anything that's left except for there's um, the three at the bottom are going to um, roll over to the next month or other stuff. Um, but all of these, anything that's left, we're going to pull that and put that as a house down payment. Or not. Obviously, it's not going to be the whole house down payment, but starting the house down payment savings. Um, so I am also getting 10, and I've got 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of these dollars and put it into the technology envelope. Um, even though I didn't have any penalties for the hydrator pay, I'm still going to go ahead and just put a dollar in there because we are saving up for um, the kids to get their own tablet. Um, I say their own, but I mean like for the two of them to share. But yeah, so I'm gonna put some, just $1 helps get us a little bit closer to that goal. Um, the kids are getting $10. Um, this is for stuff that we need for the kids that's not grocery related. So things like um, toys, clothing, anything like that comes out of here. Um, but obviously not the tablet because that's just too much. Um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. And actually my older son I think needs some pajamas. He's getting to the age where we don't, we had a lot of hand-me-downs from his cousin and we're getting to the point where we don't have that much anymore. So, um, and he is starting to grow out of his clothes. Where are we? Clothing. This is for my husband and I to buy clothes. Um, and I actually really need socks. Um, so we put in 10, so 10, 20, and 30. And yes, so I hope that your week is going well so far. Mine is um, a little busy already, and it's hopefully gonna be less busy, I don't know. Uh, family Fun is getting 10, so we've got 10 and 20. Um, so if we do go to the new burrito place and it's more than 40, we could always pull a little bit from Family Fun if we wanted to, I don't know. Um, I am going to do a budget closeout this month, uh, and we will look at all of the spending and kind of see where we're at as far as if we were over budget, under budget, anything like that. Um, entertainment is going to get 10, so 10, 20, 1, and 2. I can tell you right now we went over budget in a lot of categories, um, but we were able to kind of make it work by pulling from other categories, so overall I don't think we've gone over budget, like of the total amount that we had set aside. Um, date night, we did do a date night last week, so this got cleared up close to, close to all the way. We had 20 left, so we've got 20, 30, and 35. So like I say, we will be letting, um, this one is going to be one of the ones that rolls over till next month because date night is really important to us. We try to make our relationship a priority. Giving, um, I actually, I learned a new term and I like it. Um, because we don't um, usually donate to nonprofits. What we do is we hand money to people that are on the street corner and I always kind of struggle with what to call them because I know that panhandler is often seen as like a negative term and you know, homeless person can often be negative. But I saw something on Facebook where somebody called them unhoused and I like that. And so that's what this money is for is to give to unhoused people. And 
I hadn't been seeing anybody for a while and I finally saw somebody the other day. I gave them $6 and so we are putting two more dollars in here. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And um, this is pretty much the only thing that we spend actual cash. Um, everything else we use our debit card because it does round up to the next dollar and move that to a high yield savings account. But um, for giving, we just really like to give back a little bit um, when we can. Um, and if we ever run into that problem again where we just don't see anybody for a long time, we will probably donate to a local shelter. Um, and eventually, obviously, I would like to get to a point where we can donate to a shelter or something on a regular basis, but that's just not where we're at right now. Miscellaneous is going to get 20. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And this is another one. We will either let this fully roll over to next month or um, maybe we'll just make sure that we leave a certain amount in here because this is where we pull from if we run over in another category. This is kind of like our, our little buffer. Um, plus, we also use it if we go somewhere that like has um, paid parking or anything else that just doesn't quite fit in one of the other categories. And here I am. I said I wasn't going to talk, and I'm just talking up a storm because that's who I am as a person, and that is okay. All right, glasses and contacts. I did finally call, um, and I, I got a voicemail. So I left a message, and hopefully they will call me back, but I do need to order my contacts. This is not probably going to be enough, um, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't plan to wear contacts very often, so I don't need like a whole year supply. So this might actually be enough. I don't know. We've got, oh, wait, I forgot. I'm not counting this yet. I am doing a consolidation video and I'm going to count when I do the consolidation. So I am not counting the revolving or the annual funds. I'm just going to stuff it. And if you want to know how much is in here, tune into my next video. Pet is going to get 10. I am just going to make sure it ends up in the right spot. Pet is going to get 10. So I do think um, for the consolidation video, I'm probably just going to have some hundreds and some fifties because I think once I pull from some of these envelopes with tens and twenties in them, I should have enough to be able to make change for the other stuff. So hopefully that'll work out. Um, let's see. Car is getting 25. So we're going to put a 20 and a five. And I did finally find out how much it costs to get an oil change and we should definitely have enough to get at least the one car oil changed and then we'll get the other one changed as soon as possible. Netflix is getting five and I just actually found out that we won't need to buy, we, the reason this is over here and not in bills is because we buy the um, cards from a grocery store so that we can get gas points and we won't need to buy another Netflix card until like the end of September. So this number is probably gonna change for next month's stuffing. Uh, Hulu is gonna get a dollar and that is, we do it that way too. I need to do the math on that one because I actually think that needs to be upped a little bit from a dollar. Um, Gifts is gonna get 10. Uh, whoops. Oh, where am I? Um, new phone, that's for me to get a new phone when mine decides to die. Um, hopefully that'll be a while, but I'd like to start saving now because my phones tend to, once they start glitching a little bit, which mine has started, it's usually like another few months that I can get out of it. And so we will see. Um, I did just clear a bunch of space off of it. So hopefully that'll help some. Um, computer build, that's for my husband. Um, that's getting $3. He's going to build his own computer. We've got some of the parts already, so that should help. Um, Daisy, that is for anything business related for me. So anything that I need for my YouTube channel or anything else that um, I do some freelance writing. So if I needed something extra for that, I shouldn't. I mean, I don't think I would need anything extra for freelance. But point being, anything that I need kind of business related goes there. Paladin is my husband's. So anything he needs um, for his blog, he writes about movies. So sometimes he needs to grab... Um, a download of a movie or something and then also we are going to start a podcast together so we might pool our resources from these two envelopes because I need a mic. Um, school is going to get five. This is mostly for things that are school related um, but also extracurriculars and things like um, ink for the printer usually comes out of school so and I need ink soon so once I do my consolidation video and count everything then I should be able to hopefully get some ink ordered because we are running low. 
All right. Um, Orion's birthday is not getting stuffed because that's not going to come around for a while. Zoo membership is getting five. I would like to be able to get a Zoo membership before the end of the summer, but I don't know. Uh, Master class is not getting stuffed yet because we just paid it, so we're going to let that lay for a little bit. Shutter is getting five. That's when I need to do the math on and make sure we're stuffing enough. I think we might need to start stuffing a little bit extra in that one. Vacation, um, which is not really vacation. It's uh, for a trip home. I say home. Oh my gosh. I haven't lived there since I was two. Um, it's for a trip to South Carolina to see my grandma for her 90th birthday. Uh, my older son's birthday. We're just getting a dollar in there for now. Just kind of bulking it up. Not bulking. Hmm. Whittling away at it for now. Um, Halloween's going to get a dollar. This would be for things like costumes, um, candy, stuff like that. Um, this is for my car registration. And then Christmas, we're going to go ahead and stuff too. This is one of the things that my husband and I really need to talk about because I think we might have higher expectations for how much we can spend on Christmas than is actually accurate. So we might need to, to kind of temper our expectations on Christmas. Um, PlayStation Plus is going to get a dollar. Um, and my husband actually does use his PlayStation account um, more than, uh, you know, once in a while. So it is worthwhile to keep paying for that. Um, and then this is for his car. And then we've got Easter and Science Center membership, which are not getting stuff right now. So that was, um, I did manage to keep that a little bit shorter than usual, but I also feel like I don't know. I feel like something was lacking. So I don't know, y'all. Let me know in the comments if you like it when I talk more or if you like it when I talk less. Or would you like it if I didn't talk at all? I don't know. Don't tell me that. I don't want you to hurt my feelings. Um, anyway, I'm going to let y'all go and I will see y'all on Saturday for a bill condensing video. And um, I did not forget about the DIY with me. I will still be doing that. I just need to make sure that I have the time to actually dedicate to it because it is going to be a little labor intensive. Um, yeah, so I need to find a time when the kids are busy, otherwise occupied so that I can actually get that done. So I will let y'all know in my next video, I should have made a final decision by then if I'm going to be recording or I mean, um, posting three times a week. And if so, I will know what days I will keep y'all posted on that and I will see y'all on Saturday. Bye y'all.